Well, welcome back to the game, everybody. This is Robert from Black Bell Gaming, continuing my first my first game of Space Hulk Death Angel, the card game. We've got some nasties coming out of the ventilation ducts, and let's see if our Marines can hang in there a little longer. Well, it's time to uh, choose our actions and start resolving them. So. We're going to resolve from the lowest number to the highest number. We've got block first. And the first thing that's going to do is give us a support token to give to someone. Brother Zale's the one I'm worried about. He's got four bad guys on him. So we're going to give him a support token there. The other good thing about this card is that it will allow Sergeant Gideon, who is up there at the top and facing one enemy, uh, if he is defending himself and rolls a skull, he's going to be all right. He's using that big shield, so hopefully that can help him out. For my next group's actions, I think I'm going to go with Overwatch for the uh, orange team. That's going to give us another support token. Brother Zale is the one I really want to take out these guys, or as many as he can. So, uh, we're not really going to worry about this part since we don't have any orange marines that are going to have uh, a token. So here it is uh, in the initiative order here, step or count 14, flamer attack. Brother Zale, when he attacks he ignores all the skull, uh, skulls and he'll slay a number of gene stealers equal to the number on the die. Welp, let's give it a shot here. We really need to get four. Think four, think four, think four. Three. Three. Now I'm just... That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Should we take that? You know, we can take that and we have some, some chances to reroll for our defense. Let's keep that. That's not bad. Let's take out three gene stealers there. We're going to take out these three. We're going to let that stand. All right. So, uh, purple. Anyone else on the purple team? Well, we've got one here facing this way, but his range is two, and there's no other uh, bad guys around him. But that's not bad. That leaves Brother Zale with two support tokens. So now let's let the bad guys have their turn. First, Sergeant Gideon. Remember, he's blocking. So if we roll any skulls, he's okay. Get in a little tighter here. Come on, Sergeant. We got a skull, and we rolled a two. And since there's only one attacker, either one of these would have saved his life. So he successfully defends himself. Now, Brother Zale has one Gene Stealer attacking. So we're going to need to roll higher than a one. And we got a two. Well, excellent. We get to keep both support tokens. So our Marines came out all right. Let's go to the event phase. Well, I had to double check my discard pile to make sure I hadn't made a mistake, but this is a, a duplicate card. Full scan. We choose a blip pile and discard the top card of the chosen pile. Well, that may be this one. If we discard this gene stealer, then that is uh, that's going to allow us to travel. And I think that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and spawn the bad guys. This is kind of some bad news here. Uh, we've got two bad guys coming up on red and two on yellow. Well, I kind of just ran into a little timing question here. It says specifically that it automatically occurs whenever there are zero cards in any blip pile at the end of any phase. Well, we're not we're not quite done with the uh, event phase. You know, we were supposed to spawn 
We're supposed to do this card and then we're supposed to run through the spawning part. And if I choose some bad guys for the red location, which is the ventilation duct, I don't have any to put there. That blip pile is empty, so I guess I, I guess nothing goes there. And then we've got uh, the yellow, and the yellow is over here with Sergeant Gideon, so uh, he's going to get some... I just edited out a major sneeze. Sorry about that. Uh, he's going to get two Gene Steelers coming in on his location, and uh, yeah, we've got enough. We've got enough Gene Steelers to do that. So that's going to give him three, but that also empties that blip pile. So it's definitely travel time. But let's see if we've got any tongues. Yes, we do. This guy. He is going to scurry up this way and try to go after Brother Valencio. But no movement uh, over here. They're going to stay on Sergeant Gideon. So now it's travel time, I think. All right, here's our location card number two. Uh, it's called the Black Holds. Looks like a, a creepy area there on this huge spaceship and uh, I think we need to start setting some new um, locations around and refill the blip piles and then we'll go to this part here alright so I think we've got our uh, corridor our door and then counting up this way three spaces up is another ventilation shaft and then here um, matches this symbol Promethium tank. If you activate it, you slay all gene stealers on this position, but then you roll a die and slay this marine if you roll a was that a zero? So two spaces up there. That's where that tank is. Alright, let's uh, fill the blip piles. Alright, we've traveled. Uh, upon entering, the current player chooses a swarm and spawns two gene stealers on it. If there are zero swarms in the formation, this has no effect. Well, we've got to choose a swarm. We've got one here and one here. Choose a swarm and place two gene stealers on it. Call me crazy, but uh, I think I'm gonna put two more on Sergeant Gideon's location. That's going to absolutely pack him up with uh, five Gene Steelers coming at him. I'm hoping that his uh, fancy shield there will keep him alive as we try to gun some of these guys down. So we're going to head into the uh, action phase next for round four. Thanks for watching.